All right. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today is going <laughs> to... All right. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be about the XT250 just in general. Um, what I've got riding on my bike every single day. Just kind of like an overall um, look at it. What's going on on the outside, not necessarily what's going on on the inside of what I've uh, got in my bags and stuff like that, but just everything on the outside just from my day-to-day -day setup how I'm riding uh, On a like, you know, just overall everyday basis So Here she is. It's a 2015 Yamaha XT250. It's a fuel injected version um, It is running a lot of different aftermarket parts as you can see uh, I've got 11,500 miles on it. I just hit that number today uh, I'm actually out running errands and I thought, hey, you know, it's, I found this kind of cool little spot next to Lowe's and I just decided why not, the lighting's good, let's get to it. Uh, so this, this is her, um, everything that you see on here is what I have every day. It's not when I'm camping, it's not when I'm like, you know, going like heavy grocery shopping. Right now I'm just running errands, I'm picking up some little odds and ends from the hardware store. But let's get started front to back. Um, first of all, on the uh, on the overall bike, uh, tires. Let's go ahead and go over those. These are the uh, the Continental TKC80 Twin Duros. Um, I got these used for 80 bucks for both of them. They're pretty much like 95% new, and you know I can say I, I like them a lot. They run really good on the highway. They're really great tires. Um, they're a lot better than the Shinko uh, 804, 805s that I was running earlier because they, they hook up a lot better and they're just overall a lot better in the dirt and in the sand. Um, up front I have the Tusk, um, Tusk Fender Bag with uh, some spare, t uh, some spare tu a spare tube in there, gosh my words, some spare tire irons and some, um, some extra, extra tire irons. Um, moving backwards, uh, the headlight, the bulb that I have in there is the Cyclops Adventure, Adventure Sports 1700 Lumen, or actually 7000, 1700. It's the upgraded version, it's the top tier one that they have for the H4 headlight. Uh, you can go ahead and check out my video on that one to see exactly what it is. Um, moving backwards to my controls that you guys always ask about. I'm running the stock mirrors. Um, I have the Acherbys um, handguards. Those are the matched color. Uh, as you can see, I have I have dropped my bike a couple times on them. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but I have scraped them up a little bit. That's what I'm running. I'm running the uh, Acherbys, uh, Acherbys um, handguards. I'm running factory levers. I had to cut the ball ends on them uh, just so they would 100% um, clear these uh, clear the guards. Uh, I run my GoPro on one side. I run my phone on the other. These are both running the quick disconnect life proof mounts. They're magnetic. So um, I just stuck one on the back of my GoPro case and I stuck another one on the back of my phone. And whenever I'm riding, I just stick it on there and then I push the little twist lever so it doesn't come off. And that's where my B camera goes to my, my GoPro Hero 3. And then that just attaches the same way just sticks on there and then it locks. Uh, I'm running the Tusk Auxiliary Power Outlet. It's a 12 volt cigarette lighter. I don't typically use it, but when I do use it, it's because I really have to. So for example, my phone is completely dead. One of my cameras is dead. This, that, the other thing. Um, and you will see a couple of these little GoPro mounts peppered all over my bike, just because, you know, hashtag, uh, you know, YouTube lifestyle. Um, I'm running the factory grips on here. I am gonna replace them soon because I'm not very happy with these. I mean, I'm happy with them because they got me here, but I, I'm looking for a better option that um, cuts down on some of the vibration. Moving backwards to my tank, I have the Wolfman Enduro tank bag, running a map of Southern California in there. Uh, inside of here, there's just a bunch of odds and ends that I use for my everyday, um, everyday kind of stuff. Uh, the seat that I'm using is a seat concept seat. Um, it's running uh, lower density foam because I'm a lightweight rider. Uh, it is wider in the tail section, which makes it a lot better for commuting and on those long rides. 
It's got the gripper top and the carbon fiber sides, carbon fiber style sides. So that way when I'm up and out of the saddle, uh, I have my, my knees to, you know, slip back and forth a little bit uh, on where I'm getting traction and stuff like that. And I move back to the rear when I'm going on those long everyday commutes. And speaking of commutes, I use this bike every single day as my daily driver. Like, I, I use this for everything. I go to work on it, I commute in it, I buy groceries on it. Um, this is not it in its grocery getting fashion. Uh, I do have some extra bags, but we'll get to that later. Um, but I use this for everything, whether it's getting lunch or going to work, picking something up from the store. I use this bike, so that was kind of my philosophy. I wanted this bike to do everything and do everything pretty comfortably. And um, the seat concept seat definitely helped out in terms of comfort, I feel. Uh, you, it's 200 bucks. It's, it's up to you to decide. I can say after riding with it for about 2,000 miles now, excellent, excellent seat. Highly recommend them. Um, if you're, but then again, your mileage may vary. Like once again, I said I'm a lightweight rider, has a different density foam. You know, hey. Uh, moving backwards, we have the Happy Trails Pannier rack system. It's the SU racks running the top rack and the grab handles. Um, where are the grab handles at? Uh, the grab handles. Um, so it's running all three of those those hard parts because I do want to. I did want to have lockable panniers on my bike. And I'm also running the Happy Trails um, aluminum panniers. These are the thinner version. Um, I wanted them that thin because I wanted to make sure that the profile of the bike is narrower or at least the same um, in the back as it is in the front. So that way when I'm lane splitting, which I do very often, I know I'm not going to have a pannier strike because my panniers are not wider than my handlebars. So if I can fit with my handlebars, my panniers are definitely going to fit. Um, but the panniers are great. For the panniers are great for right now. The, the hard luggage is really great. I like them a lot. There are a couple of gripes that I have with them. I'll give them to you in a full review. Um, on the outside of each pannier, uh, they're running reflective tape. Um, this bike has definitely been dropped on these panniers, as you can see. But the reflective tape just helps, you know, make me a little bit more visible. And it definitely is. Uh, it's, I got it at Walmart, I think, in the camping section. And then I cut it down and then I had my brother put it on um, because he applies vinyl for a living. But it's it's a great way to increase your visibility throughout the bike. And um, I just decided to put some of that sticky, um, sticky reflective tape on there. And that's what that is right there. That does not come stock. On top of the Happy Trails panniers, I'm running the Happy Trails top bags um, on either side. Uh, usually on the the driver's side the the kickstand side i usually have tools and stuff like that and first aid and the top bag and on the other and, and on the other side i usually have my camping long-term stuff and my gym stuff up top which is what the flip-flops are for uh i take a shower at the gym um so you know i gotta have flip-flops um so the biggest thing that you can see on here is the uh, roto pack sit, uh, setup that i'm doing i have a gallon of water up top and I have a gallon of fuel on the side here. I'll go ahead and work my way back. Both of these are locked. They have locking mounts. Um, they are fantastic. I mean, there's no way that's coming off of the bike unless you start unbolting everything. Um, and even then you'd have to unbolt the other side to get this, this, this tank free. But uh, there you go. I have one gallon of water, one gallon of fuel on this side. Um, and then moving on to the other side here. Oh, I'm running factory turn signals and stuff like that. With this Happy Trails rack, you do have to relocate them to the back, a little bit further back, um, just because clearance issues and stuff like that. So on this side, it's the exact same. Um, it's an aluminum pannier with a Happy Trails topper bag. And then my FMF PowerCore 4 is under there, and this is pretty much the damage that it's done. Uh, I'm going to do it in a separate video, but I am running the FMF PowerCore 4. As you can see, it is like totally roasted right there. My license plate is being held on by zip ties um, on this side because, as you can see, it uh, roasted the hole, the mounting hole, and there was just so much vibration from this uh, getting undone that my other bolts got undone too. So. Uh, running a zip tie through there. 
but that pretty much covers it from front to back my my entire XT250 if you guys have any questions about it feel free to let me know in the comments as I said this bike it, it's a do anything bike for me oh, oh there we are I almost forgot um, I'm running the Ricochet Off-Road Adventure Sports Ricochet Off-Road Skid Plate that's totally something I forgot um, that's something I always forget that I have on there because it should be stock and it's not but there you go I'm running that Ricochet Off-Road Sports um, skid plate it's aluminum really good quality um, but that once again guys that pretty much covers it uh, if you guys think I missed anything or if you guys saw something that I didn't talk about feel free to let me know in the comments if you have questions also let me know um, guys this is my do-it-all bike this is my my main source of transportation here in Southern California and it is fantastic I love it to death and maybe I'll do a video on my camping stuff my camping setup it looks very similar to this but you know there's more baggage but anyways thank you thank you thank you so much for watching I hope you guys have a great day and until next time peace out